CJCA, its signature program has been the new director's training, or we call it the new director's seminar. Maybe eight or nine new directors with five or six veteran directors. And it's a peer-led training. When I went to the new director seminar, I had been the director for about three months. It tends to be somewhat intimidating at first. And then uh, after a few minutes and people are welcoming and they, you start to listen to the problems that they're encountering and listen to their discussions, you do find that they are having the same kinds of difficulties that you're faced with as well. New Directors Training told us about a number of things that we would encounter if we hadn't already. And so I felt more confident knowing that when those problems arose, I had a ready resource that I was able to connect with to help me deal with the problem. They come out of the first meeting in the morning and they say, I didn't realize that everyone else was, was experiencing this same issue. And now I'm really, you know, going to connect with this one or that one to figure out how they solved it so my learning curve gets shorter than longer. We could discuss what some of our issues were and how we were able to get through some of those first couple of months of being a director and um, dealing with all of the issues that are there for you. The new director comes in and can't look up because they're being faced with the day-to-day -day problems. CJCA is the organization that can help them look up. CJCA not only has allowed me to network with other directors and build relationships with people who understand the daily problems facing a director, but it also connects me with some of our other partners in juvenile corrections in a way that I never would be able to, to do just out of my own jurisdiction. It gives you incredible access to uh, knowledge and experience base that you just wouldn't have access to without it. It also provides you with a mechanism to learn from best practices and addressing some of the key issues that we're all facing. I appreciate having other juvenile justice leaders across the states that I can turn to at a moment's notice to ask questions about difficulties that I'm facing here in my county, to talk with them about the experiences that they have had in their jurisdictions. One of the trends that I've noticed in the last 10 to 15 years is that the directors that the governors appoint are not coming up through the ranks as I did. I, I started running a group home and moved up through the, through the ranks and became a commissioner. And so therefore, it's very, very important for a new director to embrace the organization that is there to help them develop their management and leadership skills and to keep them connected to the other directors. CJCA is a great place to build relationships with other people who understand the daily rigors of being a director of youth corrections. They can't be just a manager, they have to be a leader. And the whole raison d'etre of CJCA is leadership development at every level. CJCA, I believe, uh, it makes us all better leaders. CJCA has been instrumental in helping to develop me to be the leader that I am today. The investment in being involved in CJCA goes far beyond the amount of money that we pay because you're invested in the success of all of the directors throughout the nation. CJCA is an opportunity not only for networking, but to have an impact on youth corrections as an industry. We are the people best suited to define what the outcome measures for youth correction should be. And by our committees, we're able to do work to help the country define how we should be measuring ourselves rather than allowing outside forces to define that for us. CJCA is the organization that is going to help you be a better director.